Hello, my name is Ray Poole. I'd like to show you how I improvise in the Dorian mode. These gentle patterns are very helpful for people involved in harp therapy. They provide resonance without a recognizable melody. The Dorian mode occurs in every major key, starting and ending on the second step of the scale. In C major, if you play from D to D, you're playing the Dorian mode. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. These are the pitches of our Dorian chord. D, F, A, D. We'll learn short phrases of four measures each. Throughout the exercises, the downbeat of each measure will consist of a perfect fifth in the left hand on the pitches of D and A, lasting for a whole note. Play four measures of whole notes with me. Play D and A four times while counting. Oh, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. On the second count of each measure, the right hand will play the Dorian chord tones of D, F, A, and an upper octave D. I'll play and call out the pitches. Left hand, right hand. D, three, four. F, three, four. A, three, four. D, three, four. And of course you can play those pitches in any order you want. F, three, four. D, three, four. D, three, four. A, three, four. Maintain a steady tempo. Learn to feel the four measure phrase automatically. Now let's add some interesting notes to the patterns. Our first edition will be called the upper neighbor note. We'll begin with a chord tone and then go to the very next note above and return to the chord tone, the original pitch. First of all, we'll play our way directly up the harp. Later, you can change the order in which you play these patterns. Listen to this one. D, E, D, F, G, F, A, B, A, D, E, D. Now join in as we repeat the upper neighbor note pattern, beginning on D. D, E, D, F, G, F, A, B, A, D, E, D. Next, we'll play the lower neighbor note. We follow exactly the same pattern of bass notes and chord tones, but this time we'll play the note below each chord tone and then return. Play the lower neighbor note patterns with me. Ready, play. D, C, D, F, E, F, A, G, A, D, C, D. We've been practicing in groups of four because it's such a customary musical phrase. Let's give a finished shape to this with a longer note in the last measure. Play the simple chord tone we studied in our very first example and hold. Play three patterns of lower neighbor notes with me going right up the harp. Then just hold on to the fourth chord tone at the top. Ready, play. D, C, D, F, E, F, a, G, A, hold, D.
feel free to pause the video and do some experimenting on your own at any time. Now let's add passing tones to our mix. They occur between chord tones. If you start on D and are going string by string up the scale, you'll play the notes D, E, F. E is an ascending passing tone going up the scale. Here are the first two groups of notes that use ascending passing tones. D, E, F, F, G, A. With the note A, we have a new situation. Moving from chord tone A up to D, there are two passing tones. On the way up the scale, I like to start on the chord tone A and end with the passing tone C for three notes in a row. It sort of leaves you hanging, waiting for something else. Listen to the passing tones. D, E, F, F, G, A, A, B, C, D. Common sense tells us that whatever goes up has to come down. And here's what I like to do with descending passing tones. Start on the upper D and continue with the next two notes going down the scale. D, C, B. That B sort of leaves you hanging. All of the other groups start and end on chord tones as usual. This time let's start on the high F. This is the first time we've played above the space of the original octave of notes, but all the patterns are identical. F-E-D. Ready? Play. F-E-D. D-C-B. A-G-F. F-E-D. Let's stop for a moment and consider the patterns we've learned. Let's use the note A four different ways. The upper neighbor, A, B, A. The lower neighbor, A, G, A. Passing tones up, A, B, C. Passing tones down, A, G, F. Now let's play those with the bass whole note pattern as usual. Beginning on A. Upper neighbor, lower neighbor, passing tones up, passing tones down. I hope you're starting to appreciate the variety you can achieve with these few patterns. Let's work our way up the scale. On D, Play the upper neighbor, D, E, D. On F, play the lower neighbor, F, E, F. On A, play ascending passing tones, A, B, C. We'll end the phrase on a high D. Now, with both hands, Ready, play. Upper neighbor. Lower neighbor. Passing tones up. And hold. The last groups of notes are the chord tones played one after another in groups of three. We will play them all in an ascending pattern. Listen, D, F, A, F, A, D, A, D, F, D, F, A. These groups will take you a twelfth above the very first pitch. Start each measure with the low bass interval 
as usual. Ready, play. And of course, these can come back down the harp as well. Start on the high A and play your way down. A, F, D, F, D, A, D, A, F, A, F, D. Now, add the left hand. Ready, play. So there you have it. From any given pitch in the Dorian chord, you can play six simple patterns of upper neighbor notes, lower neighbor notes, ascending passing tones, descending passing tones, chord tones up or chord tones down. In a four measure phrase, by playing a simple chord tone to come to a rest, you will complete a phrase. I'll give you a sample of four groups of four measures each. Dorian Improvisation. Relax and enjoy.